almost as important as what you want in your specific home that you're living in every day is the neighborhood you live in. So Nikki touched on it as far as amenities and things like that. Uh, I don't want to take Sandra's entire slide away, so I'll let her dig into some things as far as evaluating neighborhoods. No, it's good. Um, if you want to take the floor, you definitely can. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to add, um, you know, sometimes talking with first-time home buyers, I also want to remind them that there's there's no right and wrong of what you want. You know, you know what you want, you know what your lifestyle needs, and you kind of just stick with the list and then prioritize what's most important to you, right? Um, because like Katie said, you're not going to run into a home that is ideally going to have everything. Um, but just as long as it checks up like a lot of your like your top priority items, um, you should feel more comfortable with moving forward. But hey, sometimes it takes just, you know, starting on a broad search and then working your way in and, and just kind of understanding what's out there. So, um, you know, we tour homes for a living, so we can tell you what we see, if it's possible, if it's not possible. Um, I don't know if we can find a jacuzzi on a rooftop, but hey, uh, <laughs> not saying it's impossible. But um, yeah, so evaluating neighborhoods. So this is always a great topic to touch on. And please feel free to you know ask your questions along the way. Um, neighborhood profile. So basically what I tell my clients, especially if they're coming from another city, they're very unfamiliar with Houston. Um, or even if you live in the city and you're looking to move to the suburbs, you don't really know the neighborhood. So I always say, you know, one, um, we're in Houston, so it is, you know, a melting pot here. Um, as far as population density, commercial development, those are signs of development and how the neighborhood is going to grow. If you are curious about the neighborhood itself, I I can't tell you too much about it because I've, I've only lived in one neighborhood, but I've traveled everywhere. Um, but as far as checking it out, the best thing to do is drive by the neighborhood um, at three different times a day, you know, just to see how the morning flow is, um, how the afternoon, how the afternoon is, and then once more after work, you know, and that, that way you get three different fields and ideas of what the neighborhood is. Um, and then as far as crime rates, people, I mean, this is a very common question. We live in a very busy city. Um, and so with crime rates, there is, what is it, Katie, hpd.org, I believe. Uh, crime rates website that we can check out. I always tell my clients to look on there. Their stats are accurate. They can tell you the most recent thing that happened in that neighborhood. So if you're curious on that, always check the, the, the stats. Um, school quality, very important for those who have little ones or those who are, you know, need to go to a specific high school um, that need to be zoned to a specific school or even for resale purposes. Like some ISDs are, some school districts are, are great. So um, so checking those out uh, in the rating are available on HAR, very accurate as well. So if you have any questions on that, um, you know, let us know if you want to be zoned to a specific school. That is a very oftentimes pretty high priority. And then amenities, of course, in the city, our amenities are like a yard maybe um, <laughs> uh, or a two-car garage, uh, maybe a park down the street or just a biking trail. But um, I mean, in the suburbs, y'all have got a lot more stuff. I mean, you've got pools, you've got golf, uh, what is it, uh, golf course. So, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, you've got different amenities in different, um, in different areas. It just depends on what type of lifestyle you live and what, what you're looking for. Yeah, for sure. I think, um, one of the points too, that I would kind of want to piggyback on Sandra, as far as like the neighborhood profile and, and things like that. Um, I definitely always recommend driving at different times of day. Um, you know, as we continue to see more people going back to work in offices and things like that, I think a point to make too is like trying your commute. Um, you know, if, if that's something that's of concern to you, um, cause like Google maps will show you one thing and then you'll actually drive it. And like, everyone knows how Houston is today. 59 when I came home from Greenway was like bumper to bumper the entire way. And I think I didn't see any accidents. So I think it was just because of the rain. Like, I, yeah. I think that's what happened. So, um, you know, driving your commute and, and trying that out is always something that that's good to try out. Um, and that way you are seeing in early morning or in the evening, um, which I think, you know, is a, a good indicator of kind of what the neighborhood looks like day to day. Um, Callie said earlier that a study would be one of her must-haves and a, and a guest room for in-laws and parents and visitors. So, 
Um, yeah, that's definitely one that we see a lot. And the study is something I think that um, a lot of people are realizing <laughs> is something that's high on their list right now is you have spouses and partners and roommates um, all at home together.